in San Jose, uh, you know, historically, San Jose um, was had a, a large imbalance of housing and jobs. Uh, we had um, a great deal of the housing, but for a city this size, we didn't have the, the, the number of jobs or the percentage of jobs that was really needed. And, and so... That was back when? Well, it, it's really uh, back in the 1960s and 70s in particular, um, and even the 80s. So San Jose really grew, you know, the population of San Jose grew significantly. Um, you know, Apple was in Cupertino, Intel was in Santa Clara. So a lot of the companies were outside of, of San Jose. But San Jose provided the housing for those um, individuals that worked at those companies outside of San Jose. Um, so really back, uh, you know, 30 plus years ago, San Jose started focusing um, on having a more balanced plan in terms of attracting jobs, creating jobs. And, um, and uh, so, the, um, you know, today San Jose is home to many of the leading technology companies. You know, they have a significant presence here in our headquarters here. Cisco Systems, uh, Adobe, uh, eBay, PayPal, uh, Broadcom, Xilinx, uh, Western Digital, uh, Flex, um, uh, Sanmina, uh, HP Enterprise. HP, in fact, relocated their headquarters from Palo Alto to San Jose for HP Enterprises. Uh, Maxim, Cates Design, um, those are among the leading technology companies that are in San Jose. In comparison to other communities in Silicon Valley, San Jose still is um, has a jobs deficit. So, so in in that meaning that we actually have more residents than we do jobs. So, but I think that's you know with with the planned developments that um, are scheduled to take place in San Jose, that's going to narrow I think quite a bit. Um, one of the large developments um, plans um, is, is Google. Google plans to um, construct uh, a number of buildings in downtown San Jose near the Diridon train station. They've acquired uh, a number of properties. Um, and so their plan is uh, roughly a 50-acre plan that would um, um, be um, over six million square feet of office and have uh, up to about 20 to 25,000 jobs. Uh, there would be 5,000 homes on, on this property um, and also public spaces, uh, cultural facility and, and so forth right in the downtown. So that's the type of development that um, you know we're, we're seeing in San Jose. You know, I think that will change somewhat with these large developments that are announced. So Apple has acquired a significant amount of property in San Jose for development. Microsoft um, uh, has acquired sites. Um, uh, several companies, um, uh, Roku, which is currently based in Los Gatos, um, is planning to move their headquarters to San Jose. So they're, they're one of the media companies, kind of like a, a Hulu type company. So um, um, we, ha we have a large amount of industrial development that is underway in San Jose. Adobe, for example, just broke ground on their fourth tower in their, at their headquarters in downtown San Jose. Uh, they're planning to add 3,000 jobs. So we're going to see that, um, you know, the number of jobs in San Jose, uh, I think, change quite a bit over the next um, five to ten years. So the city um, is, is poised to grow uh, quite significantly uh, in the next 20 to 25 years. Uh, our population uh, is expected to grow to about 1.3 million. There's a significant, um, you know, thousands of housing units are being built in San Jose. So we are 
uh, building uh, housing as well. Um, what it, we're, you know, much more of the housing now though is multifamily type, um, uh, you know, housing developments rather than single, single, you know, housing developments. But housing developments that provide, uh, you know, hundreds of of units. Um, in downtown San Jose, um, a number of, of new housing units are have been built and are built and, and are approved for future development.